today we're live at the Craft House right on the 101 in Dana Point. We're telling stories that matter and introducing you to some of Orange County's finest people. So put your party pants on and let's have some fun. I'm Claire McKee, welcome to The Know. Please help me welcome my next guest, Blake Melgren. He's the chef and owner here at the Craft in Dana Point. Come on over. How are you? I'm a hugger. Right. Thanks for having us. Work under the Pleasure. microphones. I love the shirt, by the way. Oh, Super thank you. swaggy. Dig it. Cool. Yeah. So thanks so much for having us here today. We're Thank really excited. Thank you guys excited. for coming in. Yeah. So let's get to know you a little bit better. I always start out by asking what's a fun fact about you? What's something people may not know about you, Blake? <laughs> Throwing you for a curve right yeah. off the bat. I know. I'm boring. I no. work a lot. <clears throat> I play a little golf. Okay. That's about, that's about it. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> that totally fine. Life. You like to golf and yeah. this is your life and work, right? Yeah. So what gave you the idea to start your own bar and restaurant? Um, I mean, I started cooking at home when I was like 10 years old. I mean, it was ESPN and Food Network were like the two channels okay. I watched. Um, so <laughs> I like the dichotomy of that. Yeah, thing. sports and food, the two things you need to get by. And then obviously music, you know, plenty. But I um, started cooking at home when I was like 10. Um, my grandparents just moved and found like photos from like the first dinner I made. Because no we always way. did like family dinners on Sundays. So. One day I was like, oh, let me cook for everybody. Um, but yeah, and then started working in restaurants when I was 16 and just fell in love with the business. And then, you know, started working in the kitchen in 2010 and, you know, worked up in LA for four years, worked in New York for a year and a half. Oh, and wow. Then, okay. You know. You cut your teeth in some major markets. Yeah, I mean, kind of, you know, in the perfect story, come back home, open my own spot, kind of show everybody what I've learned yeah. over the years. So. That's really awesome. Yeah. What's uh, one takeaway from like LA or New York in your time there? Um, I mean, it, it's a whole different animal. It, I always joke, you know, what New York does, LA does about two to three years later, Orange County does five years later, North Orange County does five years later, and it takes about seven to 10 years for everything to kind of catch up yeah. with South Orange County. Okay. So, you know, I love it here. It's, and it's just kind of fun figuring out the dynamic of what the customers are looking for, whether it be food, drink, um, service wise all that type of stuff kind of learning our customer base and yeah giving them what they want so. sure so what do they want let's talk about what you offer here at the craft so you know on the bar side we focus on whiskeys as our primary thing I think we have over 170 whiskeys now wow. um, okay. so and now it's just a matter of finding space to add more to the collection um, all of our wines are California only so we try to be as hyper local with everything we do um, all the beer as well, California only. And if it's on draft, it's usually Southern California only. I love that. Um, and then on the food side of it, we do kind of new American, you know, whatever that exactly <laughs> means is up to everybody's own interpretation. But um, I kind of cook naturally Southern. Um, okay. So there's kind of a Southern kind of hominess to all the food here. Um, we work with local fishermen out of the harbor. So they catch the fish. It's couple hours out of the water into the mm. kitchen fabricate it completely so good um, and serve that to our guests um, so fresh local we go to the farmers market every Saturday morning okay um, so it's all about what we can source here I mean we live in the best region or in the best state when it comes to produce and food and all mm -hmm. that type of stuff so utilizing everything that's yeah. readily available any specials happy hours anything like that you want to mention um, yeah so we got a couple fun different things so we do happy hour every day of the week um hours on that vary depending upon the day um we do burger and bourbon monday so we do a shot of bourbon and either a regular burger or a featured burger every monday we do wine wednesday so 40 nice. percent off bottles 20 percent off glasses okay my favorite day is whiskey thursday um so we feature one at half off, bring in a rep, kind of let them share their knowledge with the whiskey to the guest, and then 30% and thirty off everything else and 20% off all the hard to get bottles, all your Pappy Van Winkles and things okay. like that. Awesome. So those are kind of our fun little weekly promos. We have a great Sunday brunch as well. Um, you know, top in Dana Point year after year, so. Yeah, 
Sunday fun day is kind of our, you, our big fun you day. You gotta have it in Southern California. We love our brunch. Oh right? yes, bottomless <laughs> mimosas, Bloody Marys, you know. We just kind of revamped the menu a couple weeks ago too for brunch, so a bunch cool. of new things to check out. Cool. So is that something that you're kind of always changing and it, it evolves as the seasons go? or? Yeah, I mean we change the menu itself, uh, the dinner menu, four or five times a year. Okay. Um, the fish changes kind of based on what our fishermen catch us. And it makes it fun for us because we have no idea. They're go like, oh, we're going for yellowtail and rockfish and this. And it's like, all right, well, which one are you guys going to catch? Right. And which one are, is going to be in our back door? So, you know, it kind of lets us be creative and forces us to do it kind of all on the fly where it's like, all right, we got this in. So what works with this and kind of mm -hmm. create the fish dish um, on the daily, which is fun. That's probably like your favorite part, right? Getting back to the creative side and making things. I or? mean, that's like, obviously I spend a lot of my time out front, you know, kind of being the face of the restaurant, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'd rather hide it behind the yeah. wall in the kitchen and create and kind of do that. But, you know, it's it's definitely kind of, at least for me and all, the, all my crew in the kitchen, it's our creative release for the day or yeah. every couple days. Um, and that's the reason why we do this to create and see that ethereal smile when someone takes that bite of that dish we created and like, yes. oh my god this is this is beyond what i imagined from reading it on the menu so best feeling huh it it's that's what makes a show up to work every day yeah well you guys i have been told have some incredible cocktails and creations so we're actually gonna go switch over to the bar and check some of them out beautiful let's get this day started right huh? yeah like, <laughs> it, it's uh five o'clock somewhere you yeah know? let's go exactly <laughs> thanks Blake. Thanks. What's going on everyone? Thanks for sticking with us. We're here at The Craft. Blake is here, Rainier is still here, and you may be wondering who's this beautiful face. That's Carrie Bryant, our director of production. We got her out from behind the, what do you what do you call it? Switchboard. The switchboard uh, to come to the front of the camera and have some amazing beverages with us today. So before we dive into the drinks, a little birdie just told me that you guys have like some award-winning chicken here. Yes, so we have, according to Brad Johnson, the Orange County Reddish is food critic, the third best fried chicken in Orange County. Oh, yeah. And the only, and the top place that doesn't only serve fried chicken. Yeah, like that's so, not your thing. No, no. You I, just rock at it. We just do it on Sunday nights. We do three piece fried chicken dinner, uh, breast thigh drumstick, mashed potatoes, collard greens, cornbread. A mm. uh, little honey butter for that. Um, There's that southern flair you were talking about. Yeah, earlier. you know, the inner redneck in us all. And then, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, everybody needs to get together with their family and share a meal, so yep. why not better day than what's better Sunday. than Sunday, right? I love it. Okay, so tell us, Blake, what do we have here? These are two of your signature drinks. So yeah, this is, uh, as Rainier mentioned earlier, uh, the painted black, so we got bourbon, red wine, uh, it's actually Dow Pessimist in there, um, some activated charcoal. Uh, so it's actually an, a secret menu item, you know. Have to have been here for the last couple cocktail rollouts. Um, okay. Fire. So, so you won't find it on the menu. You won't find it on the menu. You got to be in the know, you know. Oh, and this is the know. Boom. So now you're Perfect. in the know, and now you know that drink. You know, just call it Rainier's drink when you come. Yeah. Give him a little shout. And then uh, we also have Girth's Old Fashioned. So Girth or Garth, whatever you want to call him. Um, he's our bar manager. So we smoke the glass on that one. We brulee a blood orange, uh, stick the cherry on it, there's a little amaretto in there as well. Um, so that's kind of, it comes with the show as we smoke the glass in front of you and stuff. So that's a cocktail and a show. Cocktail and a show? Guys, what do you think of your drink? So good. Delicious. I, that is amazing. I've never tasted anything like this before. It's it's one of those things, It I like was reading it and I was like, it sounds like the worst cocktail it's, ever. Yeah, like, why are we going to put that on the yeah. list? And sure enough, it's delicious and, you know, it's still routinely ordered. This is good too, and you can get the, like, aroma. Nice. Little, little applewood chips yeah. that we smoke it on, so. so. It was the applewood chips, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it yeah. That's what got me. <laughs> it, it'll do it. But, you know, it just takes something that's already got a little bit of oak and a little bit of smoke in it in the aging of the whiskey um, and just kind of ramps it up. And we did Ducks and Tucks last year, and we did, like, the best drink, and Linda Cohen from Sports Center was like, you guys do this with every drink at the restaurant? We're like, yeah, every single one. Just, don't lie to me. We're like, we're not <laughs> like, yeah. no, literally every glass gets treated like this. It's not just a show for you. So it was, it was 
it's a fun cocktail and I would say it's our number one seller with, so with the show. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much again for sharing your amazing business with us, all these drinks, food. Cheers, cheers everyone. Cheers, and cheers. And cheers to all of you. Thanks so much for watching. This has been The No. I'm Claire McKee and we'll catch you next time.